Hey guys, Killer6 here, bringing you another Borderlands 2 video, this time covering a gun and class setup that was brought to my attention by Stormwolf on the Game Facts forums. Today we're looking at the Lady Fist, which is a reward item for completing the Uncle Teddy mission in the Era Nexus Badlands. It gives plus 400% critical hit damage, improved magazine size, projectile speed, and spread. Usage and description. Lady Fist is an excellent sidearm due to its unusually high bonus to critical hit damage, reverse recoil, good accuracy, and rate of fire. A Lady Fist can be effectively used without zooming on the sight, as continuous fire will put a very precise stream of high damaging bullets on the enemy's critical spots, i.e. corrosive Lady Fist will dismember loaders incredibly fast, and an incendiary one will make lethal streaks of critical hits even on distant targets. The Lady Fist is one of the few weapons that doesn't lose the reverse recoil bonus during reload times, effectively having almost full accuracy after the magazine reloads in combat situations. So let's see what this gun can do on the firing range. We'll start with no B or badass rank, but we'll leave the skill tree on. Critical hits do about 50,000 without the B. Now let's see what we need to do setup wise to make this weapon more powerful. First we have the Mirror Trickster class mod, the one that prefers the one on the screen here, the purple one. The boost kinetic reflection by 5, life tap by 3, and chain reaction by 4. I don't bother with life tap, so this version of the mod works better for me than this one right here, the blue version, which only boosts kinetic and life tap. Since uh, life tap is not something that I need in order to make this more powerful, I'm just going to go ahead and store it away for now. Now let's take a look at how my skill tree is set up. It's basically set up mostly for damage. I do keep the res skill on there because I play with teammates. It's really handy to, to revive them from across the map. Otherwise, as you can see right here, I am all damage. Now let's check this gun out in action. As you saw right there, I was getting about 1.3 million with criticals. And this is what they were talking about on the wiki. Check out this hip fire. Just pinpoint accuracy like a laser beam. Now we'll take the gun to the badass crater or badass institute and do some damage here. Using the redundant version of the gun, which fires off two bullets per shot. Most of the time, one, two headshots, and these guys are dead instantly. Typically, just one. And now we'll go to the South Paul Steam and Power. And in the dust, taking on a large stream of bad guys. This was before I spec'd out the way I'm currently spec'd out, so not doing as much damage. Same here, taking on the constructor I had not yet spec'd out. And look at that. Look at that insane amount of corrosive damage I'm doing to that loader there. Alright, so here's how you get the quest item from the Uncle Teddy mission. Uh, again, this is over in the Air Nexus Badlands. This is the quickest and easiest way to get this and do it on repeat. Just cut straight across there where you saw I killed the Skags and you'll come to this gate. When you go in this gate there's going to be some uh, some junk loaders. Just take them out real easily. Use something with corrosive damage if you haven't already gotten the corrosive version of this. And then right here on your right is the quest turn in. Now before I do that I turn off my badass ring and turn it back on again to force a save and I bring in a second controller. And on the second controller, I just have another profile. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn in the mission and drop the item for the second profile. That way, I am just basically storing every version of this gun that's possible to get. I drop it off for the player 2. Player 2 picks it up. And then it's just a matter of me hitting my center button and choosing to sign out. This forces a save on player 2, which makes them keep the item. You can keep doing this over and over to get as many versions of the gun as you like. You can also do this technique to get the tidal wave shotgun by turning into the other drop box location for Hyperion. As always, if this was helpful, please take the moment to leave a comment, like, subscribe, add to your favorites. Take care, and I'll see you guys soon. Tina, you are freaking me out right now.